Hey friends, this is Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and it's another Mrs. Wolfie weekend. I put a lot of flour because this dough is pretty wet. I'll use this the next time I go to roll out bread. Is big or small? How you'll still eat four slices of bread, so it's better that it's smaller, right? I need to go for a swim. I got Howie to shop at the grocery store on his way home from work. But again, remember the last time I did this? Broccoli was on sale for 88 cents and I said I wish I had bought more. Well, I got Howie to buy more. Now these are already starting to go yellow. So we gotta get these blanched and in the freezer toot sweet. I have, that should not be lost. Uh, I think I have 10 of these, I asked for 10. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good lad. All right. So obviously, now I don't know what the broccoli is going to cost once I, the frozen broccoli I get from Costco. So this, this is eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. The very bottom part I'm going to cut off and we're going to start throwing them in Once they start going yellow, you got to get them blanched and in the freezer ASAP. Okay, so this is not all going to fit in one stock pot. I am going to have to fire up two. And all of these are going to be, once I'm done putting these in the freezer, all of these are going to get washed and put in the broth bag. Okay, so what I've got here is one stock pot coming to a boil. You can tell by the calcium in my water that I use these as double boilers, eh? I have one stock pot with hot water in it and it's coming up to a boil. And this is what's gonna go in it. And when I have blanched these, you put them in the boiling water till they turn bright green. I'm gonna strain them into the next pot and put it on the burn. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Take the lid off. Hope you didn't get hit with steam. I'm going to put this broccoli in. And make sure it gets under the water. And look how fast it comes up to that beautiful, brilliant green that we want in blanching. I just strained that water right into there. And they're green again. Now I'm gonna dump them and rinse them all in cold water and set them on the tray. This is a whole lot more than I would have gotten for probably, last time I bought it was $7.99. I think the bro frozen broccoli at um, Costco has gone up to $10.99 and this was $8.99 and I, or $8.88 and I'm still gonna get more. So in the freezer these go. Now before these go in, I'm gonna take some bags of flour out for my I'm baking bread today and my flour barrel's getting low so uh, 
And we're just going to set these in on top of the flower bag. Like that. And we're just going to flash freeze them for, I guess, about an hour and a half. All right. And in we go. And oh my goodness, I'm going to have some extra bags for my broccoli. Yay! I'm getting to wash these. I'm now making things stretch by making my own bread every week. And it's too hot, but Oh, I think I may have overdone it here. Nope. Three bags just fills my big flour tub. These were pretzels. This is a tub I got from Costco. I keep my flour in that. These have been washed and are going in the broth bag. And the flour bags have been washed and are dripping dry, waiting to be used. Okay, here's our broccoli out of the freezer. It's not completely frozen. Now I'm going to put this in milk bags. These are the milk bags I've been saving, washing and saving. And the reason I'm putting these in milk bags is because one milk bag does two meals. $8.88 for this. This is 16 meals. Easily 16 meals, maybe more. And don't forget, wash your parchment, hang it to dry. This is a lot more than I would have gotten from the frozen food section at any store for this price. Here's our bread out of the oven. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. As soon as you come out of the oven, you put a cover over it, makes it nice and soft. You run out of string? You run out of string? What are these little spots all over my squashes? Good job, baby. Chewing on my squash leaves. Look at this, folks. You see this? This here is purse. Let me get the other weeds out so you can really see. This is purslane, and it is an edible weed. It's a succulent. I'm just going to let that stay in the squash garden. Well, the beets are getting to the point where I'm soon going to be able to harvest some greens. Like, look. See? Oh, my goodness. So soon we'll have, oh, there's a breeze I needed badly. And look at the beans. Look at the beans. I actually had to add extra canes that I found down the side here. Looking really good. I have a few chew holes in my, ca my cabbage, but nothing that, uh, <sighs> the marigolds seem to be doing their job and they are growing and there are more babies coming up look isn't that beautiful let's see i may have to thin out my rutabagas again but No, they're all still good, good part, but they're uh, parsnips, squash, it's all doing great. Celery's going to need watering. Thank goodness it's going to rain. Onions, I'm going to leave weeding until after the rain. There's our tomato plant that we cut off, cut off the top of that plant. Look at it. But I got to tell you, it works better if you put it in a pot so that you can control the watering. Zucchini! Now, all of my tomatoes are in flower. I'm gonna have to pick some of this basil soon and bring it to dry. Um, I actually am probably gonna do that right shortly here. 
Father just finished cleaning out the gutters after ripper snipping. And we're putting water in the pool. Look, that pink flower is my marshmallow plant. It just It's a volunteer and there's another one coming, so I'm just going to leave them. It's my colt's foot and buttercups. And comfrey. It's right at home in the medicinal garden. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half-acre homestead saying, I gotta go for a swim. Take care. Mwah.